Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL playoffs round of 64. I'm sharing the screen now, Flicky. Um, the It is Nooms and Wood Elves versus Misspelled Tree and Wood Elves. Wow, a Wood Elf mirror. I've just realised that. Exciting time, Woody Mirror. Isn't it? We've got insane teams here. <laughs> insane teams. Nooms has... We can't see him. A move 9, edge 5, catcher. And a move 9, strength 4, dancer. And another strength 4, dancer. Two strength Whoa. 4, dancers. Two strength 4, dancers. But only 11 men and a babe. And Mr. Veltree also only has 11 men and has an edge 5 mighty blow tackle dancer. <laughs> Um, and a move th move three tree. That, uh, yeah, Miss Bell Tree's team is substantially worse, I think, and there's somehow more TV. That's weird, isn't it? It is, and there's no sure hands on the pitch. Boy, howdy! Oh no, there is. The dancers got sure hands. Oh yes, yeah, had five sure hands. Yeah. So the strip I mean... on the strength four not as relevant until the play breaks down. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's sure hands on both teams. Oh, yeah, there's sure hands on this thrower. <laughs> Where's that? Expert analysis, as always. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. Apologies. Uh, hey, Chanter. Probably should have put the loner in front of this dancer. This dancer is a prime target for this mighty blow blitz right now. <laughs> there's so much sure hands on the pitch. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah, there's more sure hands than I've ever seen in any Wood Elf game ever. <laughs> it's only turn one. Hello, Sata. Sata the security man. God, what a play that was in the Among Us. If you uh, if you want to check out the stream from last night, Sata was on 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 cams. <laughs> Went, killed somebody, went back to cans, and was like, I was on cans the whole time, fooled everybody. It was it was outrageous. Oh, nice player. And con especially considering he is a security man as well. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so... That's interesting, Dial, that you think this is a... Like, I don't think there's much to this team. But there's, a, there's a move up tree, and there's a edge five... Like dancer, and then everything else is just a bit crap. One guard, I guess it's TV. Like it's TV efficient, so there'll be a wizard every game. But there's three journeymen, like that's four journeymen. That's pretty rough. Now, just I'm just triple checking before I see it. <laughs> but apart from the tree, there is no guard on the other wood elf. Yes, correct. Yeah, that is the weakness. But they do have two strength fours. Which, True. which negates the need for it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> One of the late Wood Elf runs to get, keep Ch Tatel from Chalice. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think that was the only reason either of these two played Wood Elves was just to deny Tatel. <laughs> Absolute scumbags. <laughs> I think it was also the reason um, Calcium played Dwarves as well. <laughs> was looking to deny Tatel. <laughs> Have any team left? <laughs> do they have sprint on their catchers, Jim? Yes, they do. do. <laughs> 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 no, Diddle did get in, but it was it was a tough race. There was like the, the wealth race was pretty was pretty tight. Um, obviously, this is all just joking, and they were not doing that to deny Diddle. <laughs> Sat <Saturn, laughs> only stands up to kill. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Apart from the guard, they have no guard. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I mean, apart from this lineman with guard, I don't think there's any guard on the other team either. <laughs> Look, that, that would help like my joke there. A nice little chuckle. <laughs> oh dear okay he's gonna fight the tree normally you know wood elf mirror the trees just stare at each other and 
take root in front of each other, and that's about it. I mean, it is it is a big bonus to knock down the other tree, isn't it? So like, you might as well try to knock down the other tree. But then it's not that big a bonus for against misspelled trees tree, because misspelled trees tree is movement three, so it just stands up easy anyway. It certainly is. Amazing commentary so far, Dimmy. I can still ban you, you know, even though you're a, even though you're an admin. <laughs> you're on thin ice. <laughs> Fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of the sprint sure feet dancer, to be honest. <laughs> no, no, oh, I, I don't God. like that. I don't like that at all. Oh dear. Oh, we've we got the results of who of who won everywhere. Commiserations trend. Did your team win? Per I saw Peravale win. Yeah, Peravale did win. Ooh, hello PC, sexy boy. <laughs> so there was Team Man versus Razzlestorm. Still playing. Ah, oh, well. Unfortunately, Chalice has uh, has taken has taken. You shiny uh, thing. Yeah, I didn't know that. It was it was too hard to like find who wasn't playing, right? Oh god, that's PTK. That was not PC. Um, <laughs> There's just like subliminal messaging. Just a gigantic PTK appears on the screen. <laughs> oh, terrifying! <laughs> Yet yeah, oddly attractive. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where is where is PC? Here we go. You can just drop me in on top of Mickey Flack, it's fine. Yeah, just on top of Flicky. <laughs> <laughs> Razzle just won. Well, there you wow. go. Congratulations. Tren and Paravale and Razzle Storm making it to the main event. Glorious. I don't know how they uh, do the seedings, but that means there's a chance that Tren faces you or me or PTK. Yeah. In the main event. Yeah, there is, yeah. Boy, howdy. <laughs> there is a plus strength, plus move dancer, yeah. With sprint and sure feet as well. <laughs> that could be wrestle sidestep, couldn't it? He'd be an absolute monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'd definitely be, have sidestep. You'd be much... Train, you're right, you'd be much better off facing PTK. <laughs> Kifo, the highest ranked player at NAF level. <laughs> Resurrection fixed turn tournaments. Like this in the world. Yep. Every, everybody's going to want to face me on, on our team. <laughs> and who naturally plays his turns in about 25 seconds, even when there's no time limit. So, yeah, you, you definitely you should be crossing your fingers, hoping for KFO. That's, uh, that's your dream draw. Actually, your dream draw is driven Jimmy and three snakes in the first two turns, at yeah. which point you'll win. Yeah. <laughs> everybody's dream draw is me on our team, for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Nonsense, you are, I believe, the last Blitz Pit champion, aren't you? I am the, the current, reigning defending Blitz Pit champion, but um, I'm also PTK. the worst player on the team. <laughs> PTK was also not far behind that. He was fairly recent. It's yes. me that you have to go back into the ancient history to find any form of winning form. There you go. I'm very much yesterday's man. <laughs> Having said that, I think you're the highest ranked one out of all of us on the in the Blitz Pit Elo rankings. Yes, I'm now like England as an international tournament. I turn up and make up the numbers. <laughs> I'll finish, you know, sixth to ninth. <laughs> Everyone will go, oh, wasn't it nice they were there? Weren't their fans well behaved? But, you know. <laughs> so did uh, Jim try and talk you out of dwarves? No, he did talk me out of goblins. Though I wanted to take goblins. This rule set says goblins to me. <laughs> And Some yet. beautiful goblin builds available there. Yeah. Well, Flicky, I went for the mental advantage. I mean, if I spin into you and I've got dwarves, you're upset, aren't you? This is true, especially as right, I'm Woody. See, I'll be very upset as I'm Woody's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I. Me too, Kilsey. Me too. I think the rule set is not kind to dwarves. I think the rule set, you know, rule set wise, I would have. I would have rather had an orc T 
team than a dwarf yeah. team. But it was the only thing that really tempted me. The orcs were okay. Weren't yeah. They? But it's obviously it's PC, right? And PC is like a demon with dwarves, much more comfortable with dwarves. Minute turn limit, obviously he's got to go with what he's most comfortable with. I wouldn't. I yeah. wouldn't presume to to to, to say I'd no. Have, use I'd orcs have, or anything. Do you know what I mean? Like at the end, I'd have had some go goblins on my old team as well, which I mean, I wasn't that happy about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but orcs it's. I mean, I'll be honest. Time, I'm, I'm not as young as I was. The time limits are an issue. I'm reasonably good at mastering it normally, but something which I can definitely not have to think too hard about and spend my time on decisions rather than oh god, what the hell's going on? Yeah. And what is that piece? Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I tried humans point. in Dome, and I, you know, I couldn't tell one from the bloody other. Yeah. Very good point. Underrated element. So I'm, I'm being kind to myself and relying on KFO to just win every match, and then me and Jimmy only has to win between the two of us. So that's very true. Yeah, that's very true. They are for him, Kinroth, because he's played like a thousand. Well, not even a thousand. <laughs> Like two yes, or three it's about, thousand it's a, games with them. Exactly. It's kinetic memory, it's muscle memory, it's shape memory. It's uh, a bash team has better chances to abuse the timer and generate extra seconds by, you know, not clicking the power instantly. Um, yep. There's a lot of little tiny reasons that add up to it making sense. And I'm going to be honest about them because I'm honest about most things in life because I don't give a shit. Yeah. Well, why lie? What's the point? <laughs> That's where I see my edges, that's what I'm hoping to use. Ooh, gets the 1D power, disgusturous. Mm. No frenzy yeah. on either team here, I mean... Yeah, I and I mean, it's... That's such a chancy roll, Jim. That really, really is. I mean, if that goes wrong, there's a route right around the back. I know it's a strong ball carrier, but you're still, you know, all over then the cage and the ball area, and it's... I know there wasn't a lot of elves that could come, and mostly it's loners around that side, but still, it, yeah. It worried me. It was pretty rowdy. And it, it bespeaks an attitude of, of thinking that because it's on a strength four dancer, it's it's an invulnerable ball and you don't need to keep it as safe as you do normally. And I mean, that's that's true to some degree, <laughs> but you know, Tree does like being hyper-aggressive. She's a very front foot player. Ooh. I think if you give her Oof, ooh, ooh. I mean, I hate these kind of situations as elves because, like, yeah. you really do have to re-roll it because that's an add yeah. five tackle mighty blow dancer. Like, you just have to because if if your armor seven, if you if you KO your dancer there, your drive is destroyed and maybe your whole game is destroyed, isn't it? So, like, it's yep. a, you really want to be um, able to not re-roll that, but you really have to. Maybe you didn't have to make it with sidestep, particularly with those loaders on the on the floor still without them stood up. It, it's an undeveloped position which would leave huge gaps. Yeah. And a possible, you know, mega foul on that dancer as well. So there's just loads of reasons that had to be rerolled. Yeah. But also, there's more reasons it needed to not have been made. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't that certain about that as a blitz. I felt there was room to snipe elsewhere and just recover in that corner. Yeah. I don't believe they really want to go up that side between the trees and the side. No. <laughs> yeah, I'd be lucky to open up this position, come back towards the middle and uh, see what I can... Have a look down the left in the centre next turn or two. Yes, time and strength four dancers are on their side. There's no need to yeah. hurry up a flank that doesn't look no, that absolutely. open, does it? Yeah. If there'd been a couple of removals, you might see it. And uh, Tom Schniz, was it? Uh, was it? Was it? Uh, Troxbirds. <laughs> oh, that was glorious! That Troxbirds uh, screenshot. That was amazing. <laughs> It is Razzlestorm, and if if you don't blitz with Mighty Blow, then uh, then then uh, oh, I can't remember his name. Mister Page will will go for the win against you because you obviously don't know how to play Blood Bowl. So <laughs> there is there is that. <laughs> That's all mocked rules. There's a little something sometimes in there. Um, you know, if you can get off a Mighty Blow blitz, it's preferable. <laughs> Yes, but there's it, it's such a complex decision that simplistic statements like always blitz with mighty blow just make you look an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> which Paige isn't. You know, he's a nice chap and a decent coach. <laughs> he's prone to the occasional nonsense, say. But then those of us that stream, you know, trying to generate five hours of content for rabid, unhelpful chat people that just want you to lose. <laughs> um, you do sometimes say extraordinary things. Yes. <laughs> I once said that not all Wood Elf coaches are just simply in it for the wins. Yeah. 
The things you'd never defend off stream. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Skrull. To be fair, I mean, you you could have stopped at Blood Bowl, <laughs> Coach, and that would, the rest of your descriptors would have would have applied to ninety nine percent of the people who play it. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get to play the lead in the KFO story. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> well, hey. Yeah, it is, it is reasonable to remark on the dice, isn't it? You are playing a dice game after all. It's yeah, not that bad. But, but also, whiny, whiny people do annoy you sometimes, don't they? Especially when they're unjustifiably whining. Like when they're dicing you, you and they're complaining yeah, about the dice. For you? You're like, give over, mate. I mean, I've had many perfectly reasonable conversations with people mid-game about who was having what sort of dice and how we felt about that. It, it's to some degree weird to never discuss it when you spend an hour and a half sat with someone or opposite a screen with someone and dice are the major thing happening between you. Yeah. But yeah, if, you, if you're if you going to do it, then obviously try and avoid coming over like a wily little bitch because no one likes that. Yes. yes, and it's the, extremely common. <laughs> yes, the whiny little bitch thing is is terrible, but yeah, yeah, there is a, there is a good there is a good argument for never never talking in chat. Uh, there is. There is also another good. There is also a good argument for only like saying making your mum jokes and stuff in chat. <laughs> <laughs> as uh, as Gadenik used a devastating effect the other night. <laughs> If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better. Eh? Hey. <laughs> exactly, Steve. And you, but to be fair, you've got to cut the whiners a bit of slack because you know you've got to remember <laughs> the Blood Cup whole community is full of people who don't understand math but think they do. <laughs> it also happens to have plenty of people who have hot takes because they've never broken down the game into its pure mechanics. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they must be quite fun at parties. <laughs> that was cheerleave. And, uh, you know, I feel a bit bad about making it a command, but it, it, it makes me chuckle, so <laughs> I'm going to keep it. If he, maybe if he complains, I'll be like, sorry, but... <laughs> yeah. As long as he doesn't complain, it's staying a command, because it makes me chuckle. I like the I like so, the kit here. Isn't this a good kit from the uh, from the <laughs> shades of shades of uh, dusty roads? <laughs> I certainly think Nooms has uh, has outkitted Tree this time. Yeah, definitely. This is this is a very boring, very boring kit here, isn't it? As I mean, I always think the black. The yellow spots doesn't look as good as people think, but it, it, it's very nice on the war dancers. Yeah, it on is. That little yeah. tabard between the legs, isn't it? It's very nice there. Yeah, yeah. Bit yeah. silly on the tree's ass. Yes. <laughs> it does lose some points for that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Okay, well, two irrelevant elves moved in, in subsequent turns. That's massively changed the face of this standoff. Yeah. <laughs> There's not much going on in the pitch, is there? Which is why we, uh, we've descended to discussing the outfits of the two teams. <laughs> yes. Well, slightly different elves are now looking at each other, Flicky, because one has been removed in each direction. Yeah. You can't expect a lot of removals because apart from no. the guy with Mighty Blow and the two trees, there's no Mighty Blow on the pitch. <laughs> there's not even a lot of block on the pitch. <laughs> These elves are very likely to hurt each other with pointed insults. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, both very cagey, aren't they? Just trading the odd snipe blitz, and that's about it. Yeah, but I mean, the onus is on Nooms to to advance, but he doesn't have to advance far, does he? He's got to advance one square in the opposing half. 
<laughs> and hand it yeah. to an Edge Five <laughs> leap catcher and score in easily. So there's no there's no real motivation for him to make headway, to be honest. Well, I mean, Jim, that that Edge Five catcher does have to be on its feet in the opponent half, and right now that looks quite an achievement. That's <laughs> that's three whole spaces ahead of where it is now. <laughs> And with the elves at their current rate of one space sideways every four turns, <laughs> that's going to take a while to achieve. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I think you could be disappointed for if you miss Bell Tree, not uh, not having more more of a di uh, more of a removal advantage with that mighty blow blitz every turn. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Mighty Blow type. Yeah. Card. Yeah, against 87, Mighty Blow should be doing something. But I have found often does nothing at all. Yeah. Which is why you've stopped taking it on dwarves, I assume. <laughs> I've stopped coaching dwarves looking. Yeah. That's, that's uh, the me of the past. I notice you don't play much dwarves anymore. No, as of the end of, of the Chalice run, that's it. I'm done with dwarves. This season I'll be doing one comedy dwarf run with roller dwarves. Oh, so dwarves, okay. And no more dwarves. And then Blitz Pit, of course, where you're dwarves. And in Blitz Pit, where I am dwarves, yeah. yeah. Oh, and Fumble, where, where you're dwarves. On Fumble, I'm doing some dwarves, yes. <laughs> other than that... Oh, and at the no UKTC, dwarves. I'm coaching dwarves. <laughs> I am done with dwarves. CCL for a season. Um, As you should be. Unless I'm going to the back end of the season. We'll see. No, nobody quits dwarves like PC. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I'm not a quitter. <laughs> and what are you taking to UKTC? Dwarves. Ah. That'll be the first time I've ever coached dwarves in the UK 2020 format on tabletop. Wow, that'll be uh, that'll be an interesting experience for you. I wonder if you'll get the hang of them in time. <laughs> It'll it's be an challenge. adventure, won't it? I'm a complete surprise to it. <laughs> the, the challenge of that event is I've got to take Hancock, Dimmy, and Necronome, who've never coached a single game on the table between them, up to York and keep three of them alive. Um, but so, yeah, I was looking at goblins again, figuring I would stop, yeah, figuring I would I mean, stop Marine, the three of them would lose every game, and it would give me a great chance to win six as goblins. But I thought that was obviously rude, and someone would point out to them what I'd done, and they'd get cross. So I've taken dwarves, so they can't blame me if we finish them like. You know, the bottom three spots. Is it just at the tournament where you're responsible for Dimmy, or...? Yes, well, I mean, he is also staying in an Airbnb that I have had to take responsibility for as the captain has resigned. Oh, dear. <laughs> so a drunken Dimmy G loose in York and you are responsible. Yes. And also he's coming to stay with me. His Michelle is blaming me. She has my contact as to where he's gone. <laughs> I believe I have to send him home. Hancock will be fine. <laughs> He's bringing his uh, his camper van. Hey. Next turn, something's going to happen next turn. But basically, it's going to happen next turn. It's going to have to. Um, yes. So look, what we've seen. The reason we haven't talked about it is because sod all has happened. So in <laughs> many ways, that's to Newham's advantage. Instead of daiquiri, he's just stayed. And they've looked for room. He tried to snipe up the edge. It didn't really happen. He had another little go at the middle, but three is just sort of shuffled around in front of him in a way that he's found just too aggressive to deal with. Uh, it's very much like voguing or teenage discos uh, when elves <laughs> place each other. There's a lot of this sort of staring and looking and, oh, no you. Um, but now we're at the point where Newham's has to mass in the centre and look for how he strikes forward next turn. Dree's going to have to look for both how she defends that, but also is she going to try and put maybe one elf into this backfield as a scoring threat? Possibly. I mean, don't get too excited. Possibly two. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see that... Um... That blodge stepper, either holding a flank or get it, get it in the opposing half. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd want to hold both flanks with side steppers. The problem is, of course, one of those would have has got to be your strength for well, not your strength for your edge five, mighty blow. Yeah, capital, and it's so. it's the only thing you've got that can come after this strength for ball carrier, isn't it? I yeah. Mean, so that's pretty much got to remain central. So you've got to work out. Yeah, that and your guard have to stay central. Yeah. Because those are your two. And the two are one. That is your one answer, is both of those. Yes. So there we are. They're both um, going to be absolutely central. <laughs> yeah. 
And if you're thinking that sounds like a terrible answer, yeah, it really is. <laughs> yeah, the right is looking um, a bit weaker. I think that's the more likely route Tree would like to go down. Certainly slightly closer to that one. Has more men over that side. People, Tree, uh, Flicky, please, come on. It's 2022. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> There's only men on the pitch. It's okay. Well, I mean elves, but sure. Controversially, you know, the lack of female elves is um, has been marked. It's not controversial. <laughs> They're pixels. <laughs> God damn it! It deters female coaches. No, it doesn't. <laughs> he can he can just run around here, can't he? The blitz one and then run around. Yeah, I mean, I, I like this. Tree is keeping the two pieces she needs to keep available available. Uh, she's defending them and hemming in the elf advance all at the same time. Taking that risk with the tree block, which needed to be done, that's really, really nice. It prevents them using the tree as leverage and pushing up this flank using it. This is about as good from tree as I can expect as a sort of turn six, hem them in. I, th I would have rather Very these two were further out. I would have rather these two were like over here, to be honest, because I think this okay, yeah. this has given you given Nooms a bit of a pocket here, hasn't it? It has. And, and you can just run around those, but then you're stalling up at still a long distance from the end zone. Yeah. Nooms would much rather break through and have you know a defended side cage. Or he, a he's, he's had six turns to do that, hasn't he, though, PC? Yeah. <laughs> yes, and hasn't really tried, so it does look like strength four potatoing is very much in his repertoire with this team yeah i mean as long as he's got that catcher as a cage corner um he's probably fine yeah i think he's yeah i think he's done a, a reasonable job of doing absolutely nothing at all whereas i think tree having not done much for some some terms has suddenly sprung a, a really nice net i like what i'm seeing jimmy yeah very hard to see a way through this with lots of elves I think he's taken the route you suggested. Yeah, I think I think yeah, he'll this get is the blitz I was thinking. Well, the advantage here is you don't have to get them through, do you? You just have to move them about three spaces forwards. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and around one elf. Like this guy's in range leave, now. Does leave a fair amount to do next turn. This guy's in range. Yeah. Yeah. He is. And you've got to believe that catch is going to be too. And Darun, like, while that's that's funny in terms of, you know, real life <laughs> war games being played by <laughs> fat, smelly, creepy guys, I think oh. I think oh. the online Blood Bowl community is quite wel welcoming, really. It's yeah. just, uh, it's just generally it's the game's more enjoyed by what? fellas, isn't it? What are we seeing here? Why? Yes, we can remove as many of those barriers as we want. The, uh, this is fascinating. I'm also confused. Okay, we are seeing a cage, and he's yeah. putting the, the bits he leads least first. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the only way he can get the rest in place. Yeah. Oh, this is a lot of GFIs. It really is. I don't know anyone that would make this many in a turn and think it was all No, I... Mm -hmm. This Fuck is off, not how it? I pictured... Certainly, certainly like not somebody who you associate with dwarves and purple would definitely. Yes, I was being deliberately ironic there, Jimmy, but I can pick mm. it up. Um, I know, you, I know you were, it, but look at my emote. It's it's a yes. purple dwarf <laughs> failing a GFI. <laughs> I know. I've I've looked hard at bringing that one in because you did it for me, and it is beautiful, and it's still in my collection. I just I worry how uh, how clear it is, whereas I think the shaky two plus really shows it's a scary GFI. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I do like that. Um, no, but I do like that dwarf. The new dwarf. Yeah, I, mean, I had the pleasure of. Uh, I had the pleasure of casting your um, your chalice game with Jim, and you did fail some GFIs. It it happened. I saw it. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, I mean, I, I I wasn't that unhappy about that game. Unlike the last two chalices, which I felt were one hundred percent my fault that I lost. I did some very shit things. I thought in that game I didn't do particularly shit things. Yeah, but yeah, on a more serious note, yes, the uh, the Blood Bowl community very welcoming to female coaches. Yeah. Of course, we have one guy who's dedicated three three emotes to taking the piss out of them. We've got a, we've got one guy who called them an absolute shitter. 
<laughs> on One World One Blood Bowl. We've got we've got Dimmy who told <laughs> told the tale of his of his ingrown penis, and we've got a <laughs> we've got. Uh, Chris Lund, who, who talked about rubbing his lampposts. So, yeah, very, very welcoming. <laughs> really, really great stuff. <laughs> I don't know which of those to pick up at first. But all of them. I didn't, I'm not sure I knew any of them. Who's made emotes that are anti-female? They're not anti-female. They're just taking the mick out of Tren. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, I, yes. No, that's fair. <laughs> Oh, dear me. Here we go. Something's finally happening. Yeah. Yeah, it's happening. I can see it right now. We've drawn the elf curtains, and yeah. uh, and now we're bothering the back door. We're <laughs> God damn. Both of those were terrible, PC. Thank you. <laughs> is he surfing? Oh, he's leaping. Oh, she's he's leaping. He is. I think he's surfing. She is. No, and he can't. It's sidestep. He can't. It's a sidestep. This has to be an uphill on the ball. Yeah. He can't see because here we go. No, it was just hitting the, uh, just hitting the. Yeah. Okay. So it's just one die in the, the near natty. Okay. Well, it removes a it removes an option, doesn't it? Yeah. The edge yeah. five now is uh, edge five the edge isn't five there. Is gone, to, so it's to go through it. the curtains. Yes. <laughs> There's a rather weak square, though. I can see. You're talking about the loner in the first rank that's got no one behind him. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, no, that's not it. No, no, no. So now we've got a leap, a blitz, and then move through there. So this is pretty easy, isn't it? You don't even need to leap, do you? I mean, just blitz with block. Use your catcher. There's a loner over here as the assist. Yeah, can't you just blitz that loner out of the way? Yeah, just yeah. blitz just loner and yeah. run on two dodges. Three and two, then yeah. yeah, three two, yeah, three two two. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah, you've got a loaner there to, to assist, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, wow. yep. Oh wait, but the carrier's not in range. No no the carrier can't do it. You you've got to use your strength four. Yeah. Okay. I mean there's two strength fours, but sure. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. The the sprint sure feet. Is right, the you, is, is the one that was always going to have to uh, score. Okay, so right, so now he does have to leap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, yeah, he does now. Yeah, he, I mean, he could just dodge through on. Th one, two, three. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, you, you do no, you, you just, leap because you're you on tackle, so yeah. you may as well leap the three and get yeah. two squares. Yeah, just yeah, dodge yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you leap. And then and it's then a three two. plus two plus out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you basically have to leave. I mean, he's got sure feet and sprint. Yeah, so but you're not, you're not achieving anything if you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three. If you do, if you do go that way. Then you've yeah. got you've got three three two or with like all with dodge, but if you do with a leap, then that's three three two, and you've got you've got a team reroll on one anyway, so it's basically yeah. the same, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. With, yeah, that with, makes but sense. But with less yeah. GFIs. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Defenses that are impossible to defend. You dodge, but that doesn't make any sense. Meaning you can't defend the uh, the decision to have them. And he made it. Oh, it was just a two plus out. Oh, yeah, this was the this was the way anyway, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, three plus two plus, and then three twos. Yeah. The GFIs. Yeah. Easy. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I mean he wasn't bad. He, he blitzed the uh, he blitzed the base off, so yeah, it was straight out. So it was a, I mean, it was a pretty decent defense from misspelled tree, but there was always that six back would have been a you know much stronger set of curtains, much stronger elf wall. Yeah. Um, but she didn't have the numbers uh, to get in and do that. One die blitz as well, which is how she based the ball carrier, which was an important part of the strategy. And then that piece around basing the uh, the eventual scorer. Um, again, if it hadn't been there, if it had instead been closing that back spot. But then, I mean, of course, so you get blitz from somewhere else, yeah. don't you? So exactly. It's, uh, exactly. It's so, always hard. Yeah. Like, it's just... Yeah. The annoying Any thing piece is she moved would have made it harder, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like, Needed one more elf. 
that elf that was KO'd turned out to have been vital. Yeah, like how do you defend against the, you know, movement 13, oh. well, movement 12, edge 5 and edge 4 leapers? It's, it's very, very difficult, well, nearly impossible. And how the hell do you defend against a strength 4 agility 4 leaper or a strength 5 agility 5 oh. leaper? That would be very difficult, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> Hello, Fimir. <laughs> I think you'd just have to kill it. That would be my answer. Yes. Yeah, probably had to go for the strip, yeah. I, I agree, Nick. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely, Nick. I think that's very fair. But it's it's difficult, isn't it? Like it's very difficult. Monstrous the the monstrous half a woody team. This 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 misspelled tree team is a monster half a team. There's four there's four journeymen, but yeah. And there's not much to it really. There's only the there's the there's the nice dancer, but that's really all there is. Yeah, I think there. Tree's team's fine. It's to some degree quite ordinary. It's yeah. again a sign of I, I think she's a very strong coach at the moment with Woody. She's right in the zone, she's coaching at a, a decent level. She particularly likes quite aggressive Woody play and that, that agility five is lovely for that. I'm amazed she hasn't got frenzy onto it. Yeah. But these but, were um, but there's nothing else on her team. Whereas the other team is incredible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, these three players are, but there's no guard. No. Nope. So apart from one on the tree, way. <laughs> but yeah. So both three of these really are a little players. limited compared to, for example, you'd rather have of the three, you'd probably rather have uh, Dale's team, yeah. Yeah. What you want is you want both of these two teams added together, right? So you actually have like <laughs> you actually have skills on players. <laughs> And then, like, uh, plus a, you know, have eleven players total, <laughs> eleven or twelve, and then actually. Can I take two? Can I take two from each? I'll take the guard and <laughs> the agility five dancer, and then I'll take the agility five runner and either of the two strength up. Yes, but you wouldn't even need the strength up ones if you just like if tree just had like non loners and then like yeah. one of these three players, it would be like that. That would be a real good yeah. team, wouldn't it? Yeah. But I mean, the second dancer was just. Messy. Wrestle, tackle, second dance is fine, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah that's a, I mean, a dancer's start is great player, so anything you add, as long as you're not adding ridiculous skills, um, is good skills. Yeah. Make them better. Yeah. But yeah, the loners, I mean, you can you can win with loners, but it's, you get so much more option with an elf, you can afford a reroll on. There's so many more things that you're comfortable doing. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? A lot of people like wood elf loners and, and elf loners, and I hate elf loners because I I actually want elves to be able to do things. That's the thing, isn't it? Elf linemen uh, I want yeah. to be able to do things with. Well, no, if they really live through the, like uh, wood elf loners. If they live through the loner scrimmage, you want to dodge them off there and then get them active in what you're doing. And you can still do that with loners, but there's just there's big limits on it. Um, it. We all know that if you're coaching elves, you have to be able to run with loners. It's It's part of elf coaching. Yeah. And it's a good thing that we get them. Without them, it'd be a lot harder. But it, 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 you should always be trying to plan to get rid of them, in my view. Yes. <laughs> Timmy. Did Wolf have uh, the best loners? Yes, yeah, for sure. Yeah. They and they don't yeah. mind having 11 men as well. Like, the thing no. is, if you've got wood elf loners, it means you've only got 11 wood elves, right? But if you've yeah. got 11 yeah. dwarves, you're fine. Oh, wow, that's you're huge. Probably, now it's a two turn chance. Oh, that is enormous. Boy, howdy. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a huge a... result for Tree. That I... put her firmly in the uh, the driving seat here. Yep. Okay, I, I just got to warn you, I can't see a screen at the moment. I'm actually under my desk because of the amount of shaking going on. I feared it was an earthquake. <laughs> a <laughs> seismic that was equity just shift. equity shifting, Jim. <laughs> wow. Um, Tectonic we... equity shift. <laughs> Oh, there's bound to be an aftershock that might even spill my beer. Uh, that's turned us from what looked like an incredibly dull fight for the overtime win. Uh, ooh, who's rolled? Not a tail. Uh, we've now actually got a game in our hands. Well, maybe. <laughs> oh, double Look, there's no. blocking. People are moving, Jim. Oh, it's so exciting. Someone's in someone else's field. There was a dodge. Look. <laughs> Nearly failed. Oh. This is the blood bowl we came to see. <laughs> Lovely bit of dice rolling. You know what? People say dwarf versus dwarf is dull. <laughs> yeah, this is. It is dull. It, it is. is dull. It is. But Come this on. has been supremely dull. <laughs> yeah, no, I. Yeah, it, 
I'm not saying this has not been dull. <laughs> Good. We can move on then. Okay, so we've got our lovely, lovely uh, Blodstep catcher uh, on the sideline, protected by a lovely screen. Uh, two of the screen are in range themselves. Ooh, we don't need to pick the ball up. No, only one reroll, so... Yeah, it nice. can stay on the ground. It can do its moving next turn. You'll ask yourself now if the plus agility dancer should have pushed up the field. And the yep. answer is yes, he absolutely should have done. Yep. Before the pickup, if you weren't going to reroll it. Yeah. Yeah, that is a real weakness not having this not having this dancer in range. I mean, particularly the blitz was already used, wasn't it? Or it was, yeah. Hit this, yeah. Hit this so, turn. I mean, my only feeling is it was probably going to do some leaping and dodging, and that perhaps you wanted to leave that until after the pickup. But I. Yeah, it's interesting. Particularly as you could dodge through curtains, plus. Um, agility, you could do that on a 1 in 36 I with dodge. I might have been tempted to do that until it popped. Yes. And see if I could get in range and then go for the pickup. Yeah. Yeah, I would have been quite happy just making like one. What? I mean, with sidestep and you're on as someone that one, doesn't have two, tackle, three, just get in range. Five. Yeah. Yeah, you can make five of them, couldn't you? Potentially. And if not, just stop. Yep. Don't stop stay there and rock. No. But we've certainly got threats in. As I said, three elves in range. One of them screened from the current uh, defence by noobs. Oh, he gets that pow. It's huge. Huge, that. 55%. <laughs> it was 55, yeah. He had tackle, but still huge to get the pow, isn't it? Probably had to re-roll it if it didn't. Yeah. No sidestep on that strength four, so could be surfed and then give up the score. You know, I know some people would do that. <laughs> Andy doesn't always surf. I didn't say any names. <laughs> oh, the Gadenic Andy game was incredible. <laughs> Gadenic just kept giving him surfs for position. And he just kept taking them. It was amazing. <laughs> Boy, yeah. Sidestep, yeah, get, you've got to get the sidestep in, haven't you? I think that's very important, even though it's like your you best player. Yeah. Sidestep's just so good. Like, I, I, I don't know. I mean, the he used the sprint sure feet to score, didn't he? I think, or at least used the sure feet. But like, sidestep's just so good, isn't it? Defensive for this. Yep. Yeah, he didn't use uh, sprint. It was two GFIs, but you're right. He did. Uh, he did use sure feet. Yeah, I'd really want sidestep on that dancer. Yeah, for sure. Again, taking a one in nine pal before moving the rest of your people, including the other strong dancer. I've got to ask why you're doing that. Well, he wanted the, he wanted the, like that was a screen, wasn't it? So he wanted to get that one through, but it depends. I see, yeah. Where he's going to move everyone else, then probably had to. The good thing is you can dodge both of these away because like no one over here can, can yeah, score. Yeah, no one over there is relevant. If there's only one half of the pitch anyone cares about. Yeah. It might be why I might have moved that dancer first. I accept that moving that really did open up a lot of the other things he needed yeah. to do. This but way. if he's moving him behind like this, he should have done this first, for sure. Shouldn't yeah, he? Then, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But but moving this guy afterwards, yeah. So he should he should have moved him there first. Then he would have been he would have already been like doing things even if the one in nine was a, like a one in eighty one, wouldn't he? So yeah. He yeah, and even if he powered it, it's still doing things by you know, nailing him in, giving him harder dodges out to be able to assist elsewhere. Yep. He's done okay, Newms, hasn't he? Yep. Does he it's, foul it's the fine. dancer? Does he foul the dancer? Yep. Here we go. Yeah. I thought he might if, do the loan. If you've got a loader available, and you do. Then it gets there, you foul it, surely, yes. He could have also made he maybe geofied. It depends if he thought it was more important tagging this guy or getting more in front of this catch. Yeah, I, as it's only going to give you a plus one, Jim, I don't hate the way he did it. Yeah, I, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't. Not, not sent off. Way. You, you yeah. cause problems to the wrestle piece that is good. Yeah. But yeah, closing the gap, I see, closing the little gate. Yeah, that's good too, but I, I think this has to be a loader to the end zone and then use the now free elves on the left as your um, yes. your relay yeah I think that? so yeah. I think that's how and it's really easy this one. <laughs> it's stupidly easy isn't it it, it is quite oh, easy oh there's yeah. a GFI there that had to be a mistake didn't why? it why 
Yeah. Probably, probably just clicked on it, right? You know, like the cyanide pathing where... Yeah, it's cyanide not, did it. It's not a GFI to go there because you could do 3-3-2, three, three, right? So that, that yeah. so, so it looks like it's so not it looks a GFI. Like it's not a, a GFI, but if you do it, it pulls you in a way that doesn't add the dodges because you haven't chosen the dodge route, yeah. and it turns out it is a GFI. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which... Again, I think that's a little bit of just jealous nerves, completely forgivable for Tree there. Yeah. You know, she does know that that sort of thing happens. We all do. Yeah. So now it's just rolling. So she is really relaying off the AG5, two which is just pass. a handoff, so they get to do the. Um, Should have done, yeah. Two plus pass. It was just, no, it was the handoff, it was just a catch. It's two plus pass now. Yeah, so AG5. now it'd be a two plus pass off the AG5, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Yeah, good thing we didn't move the edge five, yeah. <laughs> so in the end, it was a two plus dodge from a loner, uh, two, two, two go for it, and then a two plus handoff, and then a two plus pass, and a two plus catch from a loner. Yeah. With a go for it thrown in without reroll cover, just for shits and giggles. Not that difficult, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, well done by Tree. She really made it, took advantage of it. Yep. And it was absolutely the right plan, I think. Yes, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know Beavers mate for life or until one of them dies? Yeah, that was one of the best <laughs> one of the best things ever, wasn't it? That random article that was back. Yes, Gedenic. That is exactly right. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, strap yourselves in guys, we are gonna have another wild half. <laughs> <laughs> uh, L stare at each other for 45 minutes. Well, maybe not, right? Because now Nooms might feel like... Nah, no, he can he can just one turn, can't he? He might feel like he's got something... Make something happen with it, you know, after it being 1-1. One, one, one. Like, if it was if he yeah. was 1-0 up, maybe he just trusts in the one turn because worst case is overtime. But now worst case is losing. So maybe he might try to, to try more things. I mean... Absolutely, yeah. Let's. Um, there, there really should be more, more action pack. Yeah. Blood ball with half, shouldn't there? Yeah. Good point from Moradam as well. Uh, it's. I mean, it's not a natty, but yes. Yeah, she might feel like it's a near natty, isn't it? So yeah, she might feel like it's worth trying to kill this catcher for sure. And it, I mean, it is. So. Yeah. Sure. I mean, you know. I mean that was basically Tree's one turn. She she got two for it, but it was a one turn, and um, they will have they will have the same opportunity. Although there's side two sidestep and uh, stand firm. Yeah, very good point. So need to take out one of these two if he wants to one turn. Yeah, um, I mean you can do it with um, with sidestep. You can fill all the squares, but it's an awful lot harder. Yep, and. Uh... You say that you say that you can't rely on the one turn to. You have to try some pressures. As you say that you have to try to apply some pressure. We saw Diamed the other day choosing to apply zero pressure for sixteen turns. So you know it's, <laughs> it's certainly an option. <laughs> yep, I've only gone silent because if I just drop this in your main general chat, um, my son has just made this for me out of nowhere this afternoon. Oh wow! Nice. Isn't that cool? That is pretty cool. I might have to go on my channel as an emote sort of now. Yeah. Oh, what a lad. Bless him. What are we looking at? Oh, isn't that lovely? Purple Cobra, isn't it? Is it, pur is it the Purple Cobra? It's a Purple Cobra. God, Purple Cobras were amazing. <laughs> Surrounded by a flurry of ones. Yeah. It's quite fun, isn't it, Moradam? I don't know how good it will look down as a tiny little emote, but it's super awesome, great, and will be on my channel anyway, because my son did it, and he's beautiful. Yeah. Nice, Dimmy. That was, yeah, that was great. The be the most insightful commentary ever on, on Dimmy's channel came from his son. <laughs> it did. <laughs> I, how Dimmy hasn't turned that into a, a sound clip that you can just fire off anytime you want <laughs> and if he doesn't want to I want to <laughs> I want to command on my channel that everyone you are all poop <laughs> you are all poop <laughs> <laughs>
Look at that tree instantly. <laughs> Rowdy. Steaming down the pitch. Well, yeah, we're seeing a very different shape to this. Tree engorged with her 1 0 half time score. Oh, God. <laughs> thrusting herself deep into Newham's half. <laughs> yeah. Deep into the curtains. <laughs> tree, tree, tree. <laughs> Here oh. we go. <laughs> Lack of beef in those curtains. <laughs> Jimmy, I was leaving it all very subtle and unsaid. No, Jimmy doesn't do so. <laughs> Not even a little bit. <laughs> I've been holding back for so long. Every time you said curtains, I'm like, I can't say anything. <laughs> but you knew I'd break eventually, PC. I Damn did. you. <laughs> I knew. Damn I you. I'll just... I'll just dangle it. He can't resist forever. <laughs> that's also your lovemaking technique, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's where I learned it. <laughs> so why do we think the tree is stretching the, the player down here? I, I don't know. <laughs> so probably she's got, probably she's got, if she waits, she's got two, they've got two strength four war dancers. They can keep one back as a sweeper and send one rowdy to hunt the ball. So she needs to stretch the play out and try and get one of those isolated and take it out, is my opinion. And then she'll have much more control over the, the flow of the, the half. Uh, shall I tell you what I think? She just got yeah. so fucking bored in the first half, she just thought, fuck <laughs> this, I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> That's just as possible, I, I will admit. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> oh dear me. Elf makes a dodge, it's all happening. Yeah, very exciting. I mean this is actually quite exciting. It's like the reverse flying V, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's, it is. Uh, this is uh, at least we're seeing uh, this is a more interesting tactic to watch. It is like um, a set of curtains, this formation. <laughs> oh, little tie back in the middle the water dancer and the wrestler is a little little tie back and then it goes back out at the back there well we I mean, I've, I've zoomed out to Jimmy's thing and, and the, the V shape is is notable isn't it yeah it is oh and the double skulls oh and the water dancer sucked right into the very tip of that V as so many men have been <laughs> oh, God. yeah um, I like this War dancer thrust down the centre, right down the throat. Get it in there. <laughs> I mean, that is definitely the best place to put it. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I, I really like this. I like this a lot. It's aggressive. No, I won't give <laughs> it's basically my favourite thing to do I'm in the world. <laughs> I mean, I it's on. Defend. I will defend. It's on strength two with only dodge. This is the moment to to find a chance, isn't it? To get that ball isolated. Yeah, I think if you're going to thrust, thrust aggressively forward, then straight through the, the central point at the tip of the V is the place you want to be thrusting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I like this a lot from Newms. You know, the elves will probably find their way out of this with some dodges and uh, a blitz and whatever else. You know, they'll yeah. drop back. To be honest, I didn't like the GFI. I think, yeah, there there is no, the I danger didn't... of going too deep, indeed, Steve. Yeah, you yeah. Don't want to go there too is, yeah. And, and may, may be more central. I would have just kept this central. Like this is weird. Just keep it central, and then it's. Sometimes it's if you're pushing that hard, you can really hurt yourself. I don't understand why it's veering off to the side. No, no. I think he's thinking he's going to set up a full screen. Oh God, yeah, he's oh. going to he's going to set up a grid. He's going to set up a grid. He is. Yeah. He is. He's That's pulling weird. down the curtains, isn't he? He is pulling his curtains down and shoving them in Tree's face. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think that's what we're seeing here. Well, he's rushed through the back door, and he's going to take full advantage. Well, oh she let him in the back door God. to some degree, didn't she? She hadn't defended her, her, the tip of her V very well. Oh, my God. Thanks, <laughs> thanks Wayne Farrah, for staying fantastic for 11 months in the midst of all this. This is going really, really too far now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Detective try solving why most women don't play Blood Bowl. I mean, most men don't play Blood Bowl, to be fair, but yes, I know what you meant. Yeah, most humans don't play Blood Bowl. Yeah. Um, so he is, he's pushing these elves right into the backfield and trying to screen the ball from the rest of Tree's team. I think that has zero chance of working. 
Yes. What it is going to do is move the ball forward. So I guess it's going to encourage the score score for two two. Yes. Um, which is probably better from Newman's point of view than if we if he waits and uh, ends up two one down with less turns. So I think probably this is a let's go to overtime. I'll let you score. I'll take the ball back in control of it. Yeah. And as I said, we've now got one of the strength falls forwards, and I imagine we'll see the other one stay back. I mean, he's given himself a one in thirty six chance to win by doing this. I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a. Why are we do? This is not going to work. <laughs> It's gonna work one. In th- it's gonna work three percent of the time, PC. <laughs> um, a so- he's got okay. a solid three percent chance now. That's, no, that's I really good odds I hear. If I was pushing this many else forward, I, I can't stress I enough. I would. <laughs> but if I was, I would at least leave one of the strength for the answers back. back door if you got the, the chance. missed pass is another option to stop this drive. <laughs> if he had any intention ever of doing so. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. There's the incredibly obvious gate open. Oh god! Thank you, so, thank you, Flicky. All right, you know, okay. So he didn't even get the three percent of the no, time he wins. Not even a dodge needed now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This was not even a gate. This was. This wasn't even an, a, an open gate. This was just an not even a gated hole. That it's extra GFI nothing. that he did was actively bad for him. If he hadn't yeah, done the GFI, that, that they would have actually it been so done. much worse. Yeah. Yeah. It was a horrible GFI. It was one of the most bizarre and unsupportably bad turns I've seen for a long time. Yeah, I've got no idea why there wasn't mighty blow blitz. Was it? Was it? Too yeah, short? I mean, it might oh, because not then so, bad. so positionally, it, positionally, you get you get the wrestle up here, so you've got a screen, yeah. I guess. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. It might not have been so bad if these two elves behind, like in the line with the with the tree, weren't there and were over, sort of in a full sort of. You know, I mean, line. Flicky, it would have been better if it had been anything else. <laughs> any, any turn other than that. <laughs> and yeah. literally so, anything other than what he did would have been better. <laughs> yeah, it could have been supportable. Oh, there was the one in 36. Part. Two one in 36 chances. He gave himself a 6% chance to win. Boy, howdy. Is Tree just going to score? No. Okay. No, well, I she doesn't know. need to because she's now in a winning position. And if nothing changes, she wins. I know, but I still um, thought Matt, she might have done because that throw was a bit wild, wasn't it? But I guess really was. scared of these these dancers, right? So that, that was getting yeah. away from the dancer. Yeah, do you know how I said one of them will stay back and it just 100% didn't? Yeah, I know, yeah. Bad. I mean, you only get to stay away from them for a turn, really, don't you? Yeah. But you can I mean, the phrase I often use is, is reversing the field. This is the first time I've ever seen the. Defense actively reverse the field themselves. Yes, yeah. yes, he That's, split his own I team. A, I need a new term for that. He yeah. swapped. He swapped offense and defense, didn't he? He's like, he did. He did. He just literally did. He's got all of his players in the opposing half. It's just incredible, absolutely incredible. I think he had a little nap or something and woke up and thought he had the ball. Yeah, he, I mean, maybe he'd visited Skuro's mushroom patch and he. <laughs> Oh, is man. there a world in which that defence looked good to anybody in chat? I'd love to see because it, it looks so easy to get out <laughs> of that supposed problem. I don't quite understand why Newnham's felt it posed a problem. Yeah, that was really that was really weird. I, and it's funny enough, I did like I did like this this just going down the middle and standing there. I thought that was yeah. quite good. I, I really liked the initial. If he had just stood here with this yeah. with, with this yeah, dancer um, and everyone yeah. else had hung around yeah. here, it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I mean, pushing even, say, three elves in as a net in front of that ball would have forced the ball to move forwards, would have looked at getting the score done in 10 or 11, maybe at the worst. Your strength four dancer that stayed back would have got some shots or a chance to have a go because the ball had to move forwards. And now you've got, instead, nothing and all of your elves completely out of shape. Having done, I mean, all the GFIs, there was about eight that turn yeah, to get into a shape that was terrible once you got into it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the GFIs no. actively made his position worse. <laughs> the dancer Just would have been remarkable bad. coaching. <laughs> and by remarkable, in case you're not clear, I do mean incredibly bad. <laughs> I want to make that absolutely certain in all of your minds. <laughs> <laughs> the fact is that Tree moving so far forward, though, and yes, it was horrible, but now he can unsplit his team and now split Tree's team instead. Yeah, yeah, she's still got the root up inside her rooted tree to try and unify the team and, yeah. and get the full-on stall, you know, the full-on reversed field. Uh, but I liked what she did. I mean, I agree with Jimmy. The reason she blitzed with the wrestler was to put that screen in, which meant the catch, which nearly did go wrong, which was her only risk point 
was covered if it went bad. It was super safe. I've got this. He's for some reason given me the game. I don't need to chance it play. And it was spot on. I thought Tree, he played an excellent turn. Yeah. Now it's whether she wants to score, stall or whether she wants to try and reunify this team and stall up. Um, and that's now a choice she's got, which is a beautiful position to be in. Mm. I think a lot of that's going to depend, yeah, on whether this other strength four dancer makes it back into range. The fact that it has, keeping both of them off that ball carrier, I think is... Yeah, put them all in. I mean, why not? Yeah. Can't get away from this mighty blow though, so his, his, dan his dancer is getting mighty blow tackled. So I think you do that and see what happens. 1 in 36 to lose the game though, but it's not even I mean, it's not even a strict loss. But I think I think you've got it right. You've got to start the turn blitzing this blitzing this guy. And I suppose it's got short feet, that dancer doing those go for it's I'm not against, but it, it's a typical example of someone that has short feet will then always use them every turn. Yes, yeah. And actually, you, you need to think it's still a risk. Do I need to run that risk at all? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, no. You see it from uh, right. from balls all the time, don't you? It's just the constant. Yeah, we're, we're scoring, or else that dancer, the part of the plan would have been recovering that, so we're scoring for sure. I guess this is safer, isn't it? But yeah, it means you're scoring. Yeah, it yeah. is. The, the thing is, by doing it that way, you could you had a one in thirty six to like be in trouble, but yeah, you've got a, a mighty blow hit stuff. on the on the oh, dancer, which would have cast the removal him. anyway, Jim, to make you look foolish. No, it wasn't. Yes, it it. Cast it. At yeah, point, no. Much yeah, no, it wasn't cast. I saw the nine and I was like, oh my god, it would have been a cast, but no, it was an eight on the injury anyway. Um, but yeah, like. It gives you the mighty blow hit, and then you can maybe stall, right, if if you remove yep. it. Um, whereas now it's a lot harder. So, I mean, still could stall, I guess. But but again, it is twisting on, on a winning hand, isn't it? Which, that way she absolutely didn't. It was two one in 36s to do the hits. Yeah. No additional risks on top. Yeah. I, and I, we go to 2-1. I like that, but it does give you one in 36 chance to get in trouble, doesn't it? So, I guess yeah. Yeah, there's certainly the argument for... Not I think that's a debatable one. It's, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say that Tree did that wrong. I thought that was fine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But I can understand where you're coming from. That mighty blow hit was, was tempting. Yeah, it would have been very tempting. Now very, we're very a very tempting. interesting situation because this time Newham's can just mess about for six turns before doing something in a turn and a half yeah. uh, and take it to overtime. Uh, but in that, Tree has got the time to try and get some agency to try and find a way to stop that happening this time. Yeah. It's going to take a more active defence than we saw last time because Newham has shown that it's not that difficult to break through what Tree could muster at the last minute. Yeah. Will that persuade her she needs to come earlier and try and take this ball away rather than try and defend the 2-1? I think that's interesting. What do you think, Jim? Defend it or go for it? I think she probably should go for it, yes. But whether she will or not, we'll, we'll have to see, won't we? <laughs> but yeah, I think she should do it, which is why I'm, which is why I would have gone for the the, the strength up dancer, right? Like that's the thing, isn't yeah. it? Because I yeah. feel like you've got to, you know, you you've just got to take that chance. But you know, it is it was definitely safer. You know, that's the thing. It was definitely well, safer. As, the problem as, with two strength up dancers, of course, you can carry on one and have another one to clear the way, um, and to do anything risky before your ball carrying strength four one comes into that space you just bought for yourself. So it's, it's a beautiful position to be in for Woodhouse. Yep. And diff obviously one difference we have from this uh, short drive is we are two elves down for our nooms this time round. Yep. And now let me let me just say uh, we've yes, Crystal, Hunter, right. Crystal Hunter has gone to the Flicky Flack School of uh, of commentary as both sides have strip. <laughs> yes. As, as only one side has the ball, it's probably why Trip wants to mention that the tree has it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, where the ball goes and how quickly is another key factor. Triff is right to highlight that it is. Yeah, Tree's best path to winning is probably stripping this ball off rather than knocking these full strength fours over. <laughs> You're welcome, Chunter. <laughs> apart from all the stat ups, there's no stat ups. Apart from the three mighty blows, there's no mighty blow, and apart from the two guard, there's no guard. <laughs> <laughs> really, there's, there might as well just be playing with, with like Hobgoblin Mirror. <laughs> oh, dear me. 
it is what it is, isn't it? I, I don't know. I, I think Tree should try and be more aggro for sure because I think she should try and win. Because also, given that defense, I think Nooms has shown that he's got to be put under pressure as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. He certainly crumbled under the pressure of an off of having to do a defense. So if you put him under some pressure of sculpting an offense, maybe he'll screw it right up. Maybe he'll just randomly decide to make forty-seven GFIs. <laughs> they won't all actually work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Newm's I mean, chance of scoring is very. Good, the I game is good. in. You know, Newm's hands. Obviously, it'll come down to the overtime toss. Should he get that in? I feel like Tree had a better chance of stopping a, a one turn than than a six turn though. Um, so you know she did yep. score when maybe didn't need to. Yep. Uh, it, it was. I mean, it was so difficult, Flicky. There's no way she could get control of both of those strength fours. I didn't feel. Yeah, that was the. Problem. And she just doesn't have enough guard that if they come looking for the ball, there's a good chance they get it. Um, so I, I kind of did think banging it in then was the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah um, I didn't hear you. I know we haven't mentioned it, so I'm going to now, that Newham's is down to nine, including the tree, whereas tree's still at 11. But because two of them are strength four dancers, I'm not sure numbers are oddly as relevant here as they are I mean, in almost every other game of Blood Bowl. Yeah, I literally did just mention it, but I'm fairly irrelevant myself, so don't worry about it. You just, <laughs> you just carry on. <laughs> you do you, PC. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like those strength fours are. And the thing is, as well, like if she'd gone for the mighty blow hit on the uh, on the on the strength four, it would have meant that she could have handed off to the dancer, and then she would have had sure hands to count the strip, right? Mm. So, so like I really liked. That's why I, that was why I really like going for the mighty blow hit because if you get the cas well, if you get the removal on him, then you can go back and hand it off to him and stall him very safely. So I, I really did like. I really liked. To go for that dodge, but of course, it does give you one in 36 to get in trouble. I don't think that is the kick the elves were looking for, way over away from all the. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? Absolutely horrible. Horrible, isn't it? It's probably a pick up and run away with it backwards, isn't it? Yeah, it's pick up to hand be. off, isn't it? Surely. Pick yeah, up hand off to the to the dancer. Mm -hmm. I mean, the reroll situation is pretty solid, so still not where you want to be doing those things, though, is it? And you don't have the spare elves to put a decent screen in front of it before the pickup. Just gonna have to, you know, hard dice it. He might one turn, so he can he can display his amazing defensive acumen once more. <laughs> Bit harsh, wasn't it? <laughs> A little bit. I mean, I think what happened there is he saw that V and saw that the tip of it was quite weak and was a piece he wanted to take out anyway. So he threw one of his strength fours at it, got the removal and got overexcited. Yeah, man. Uh, and then decided that pushing a few elves in there was going to be good. And then once he'd done sort of three or four, thought, oh God, now I haven't really got enough to defend the backfield. Yeah. And hence thought it was probably safest to push everything. But it, it was always a very, very bad plan. Yeah. And as you said, Jim, I mean, one of those go for it's actively made it worse. Um, so he clearly didn't have a picture in his mind of the shape he was trying to create. Yeah. And while I am very improvisational, if you're going to do something like that, you need to really have a clear vision of where everything's going to go and how it's going to get there before you set about it. Because your turn ordering and the final position are so vital. Just the and then even then, it would have been what? A, a single three and then some twos? It, it just didn't look likely to produce results. No. And with the thrower pickup. Ooh. And the pass. And the catch. Wow. Boy, wow. howdy, I hated that. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mind the thrower pickup. I didn't even necessarily mind the throw, I suppose. But the catch. God, imagine that going wrong there. No, I didn't like that. I mean, it was a GFI <laughs> onto the ball. I, I it was. It. The catch right. was without without catch. It's not on a catcher. It's a it's a lineup. It's... And now he's running away with. Oh my goodness! <laughs> what? So he is one turning. Yeah, it looks like he is. He is. He is yeah, one. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Here we go. Which is why it had to all be that way around. GFI. Yeah, I didn't like any of that, but he's gonna score probably. Probably. Has he got sure feet? Yep. 
I'm done on. No, he's got sprint. Uh, yeah, I think he's got sprint sure feet. Yeah, yeah sure feet. Sure feet. There we go. Two two. First skill. Anything you can do, I can do slightly more boringly even than we thought was possible. <laughs> so almost a game of Blood Bowl broke out, but then it stopped again. Yeah. And we had some Tetris. Yeah. Hooray. We just rolled quite a few dice and got away with it. I do not like that one little bit. Do I not like that? Indeed. Grim so it's just saying, you know, well done for spotting it and being ready on the quick snap to take advantage of it and then finding the plan that took advantage of it. Uh, and in the new rule set, that will still be possible because that is still the maximum move you can do is 12. <laughs> it wasn't Tetris, no, it wasn't. It was, <laughs> it was no, more it was, like yeah. tic tac toe. <laughs> That they have taken sprint off the uh, the woody catches, haven't they? It, yes, it's, in in 2020, yeah, that's very yeah, true. I'm not just trying to show how incredibly old I am, and I have played games since this game, but it's the last one where I was into you know looking at the ridiculous things people can do. It's like Doom with all the enemies turned off. That, one, <laughs> that attempt. <laughs> I'm aware that games have been released since Doom. What you what I tell you what you could say about it about that touchdown you could say. Um, <laughs> Not saying they're high skill, but they aren't as simple. <laughs> you, know, you can see that. Yeah, I think you definitely could about that one. Yes, people looking at that and saying that took skill to do. No, no, it didn't. No, at no time there was skill involved in that turn. It just mm. took the right dice. I think Tree and is. Having is built the right team. Favorite. The way Nooms has been playing, despite him having yeah. a better team, I think Tree is favoured. Well, my concern is he's only got to do another one turn, hasn't he? That's exactly, to time yeah. to three three and go to overtime. But I still think somehow, I mean, just the level of Tree's coaching here has been so much better. <laughs> but I, I, I think at some point Tree finds a way. Despite I think he's the got the scarier forces. sack attempts as well, hasn't he? Yeah, that's he's the thing. He's got two straight four more dances. Yeah, he's, got the, he's got the better team. He's got the better team. So, you yeah, know, Tree far, can yes. easily play better and lose. For sure. Yeah, he, like as long as he doesn't overcommit both dancers uh, <laughs> away from the ball and the rest of his team for absolutely the, re no reason. You know, the rest of his team with them. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no offense, Nooms. By the way, you know, don't watch the vod. People should tell you to not watch the vod, but um, you know, it's maybe it's uh, you know, I think, I think, I think. Flicky was right. He, you know, saw that one guy, and then yeah, PC didn't have the plan, and then just went down, and then all of a sudden, like, oh shit. So, you know, yeah, it was a funny one, wasn't it? Because when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I love this. This is a <laughs> lovely plan. Get him right in the middle, and and the other one back, and whatever else, and then it just progressively just kept getting worse and worse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're dropping deep once again, same as last time. Yeah, really scared, really scared of the of the dancers. Yeah, I mean you've got to be, haven't you? you you've, yeah. You've just got to stay away from them with the ball until you're ready to score. You you come into range of them. They're gonna have your life. Absolutely. Unless you score all's ghoul and then you just roll push into push. <laughs> Yes, maybe try. <laughs> maybe. Spurs girl, I'm sure that's a song. <laughs> to get Hellboy to record it. <laughs> oh man, Hellboy! I've I've written down Hellboy, but I forgot. Oh no, it's straight out of Cymru, right? That's what I've got to ask Hellboy. Uh, yeah. Cymru. <laughs> Imagine if he does that; it'd be amazing. Crazy motherfucker named K Fool. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not unknown to the occasional Blood Bowl song, Jimmy. You've sparked an interest there in me. <laughs> I was right. around during the time of uh, NWA. That was when I was a student. There you go. Early 90s. So we're set up for that, uh, that two turn again. And yeah. was that white middle class boy with fuck the police on the take down? <laughs> <laughs> yes. The good old North Wales America. <laughs> <laughs> well, Scotty looking chain have been there before, haven't they? They have, yeah. With the Newark state of mind, which was one of my favourites of theirs. <laughs> yeah. 
My favourite is Izams as robots. I can't remember what the uh, what the song's called, but the one where he's I'm a <laughs> Izams as robots, <laughs> and, then, and then in the it's end, great, and it's in, great COVID ones. In the end, he's not a robot anymore, and he goes, "I'm a woman called Janet." <laughs> and I can't remember the name of the song. Brilliant. He spotted a slight gap. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. I wonder if Trey yeah, left, is... left that gap to tempt him into moving his entire fucking team through again. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it, it worked the first time. Yeah. Come on in. Come on in, boys. I'm a. I'm a. The first time too, she left the far. back door ajar. Too far, Flicky. <laughs> this time. This it's time was just red eagle. <laughs> <laughs> he has left an inviting gap. Yep, he's, he's through. He's through. He's half man, off. half machine. What can it mean? Yes. He can't. He cannot resist, can he? What? What? What fella could? Um, <laughs> Thank you, Joey Winston. And she had an elf in that gap and decided, well, it worked last time. Let's see if we can tempt him into doing yeah. it again. <laughs> And it ab absolutely <laughs> seems like it has. <laughs> absolutely. So you've got to respect Tree for pattern recognition and the most subtlest of ploys that she's pulled here. Yes, it is yeah. incredibly, it almost as subtle as the commentary. <laughs> oh, he's making a, uh, a dodge with dodge to a square he easily could have got to without. Oh, hang on. Yeah, now let's find a square that he doesn't need to be in. Oh, no, he's oh, Okay, around. that's a nice, nice little place. <laughs> Yeah, and that's alright, I'm in, in the back. I can't. It's so wrong. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I like Tree. She's going to listen to this and never speak to any of us again. <laughs> oh, dear, oh dear So, I mean, for once, that blitz actually looks like it's trying to solve the problems he's been set. So that's quite good from you. Yeah. And it's put one of those strength falls right where Tree's not going to want it, where she wants to progress the ball up. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's a it's a fine blitz, isn't it? That is that was good. Maybe he has learned from his previous mistakes. But true, of course, having experienced the one turn, isn't going to want uh, isn't going to want that to happen again. I'd have thought. So it's in her interest if she can dissuade him from pushing forwards, and perhaps that was a double double bluff. Perhaps uh, leaving it so wide open so that he didn't push forwards like last time. Four. That she can actually, you know, stall some turnout in the back of her field. Bluffs and triple bluffs going on. Yeah. Or maybe they're just moving people randomly and seeing what happens. That's entirely possible, Flicky. It's it, technically possible, no, I'm and Razzle, but it's very, it, like, it, it's so difficult as to basically be not possible, right? You hit him there, and then you hit him there, and then you serve him out, but he's strength yeah. four, and these are strength three and two, and you'd have to get, like, you'd have to get assists in, and you'd have to get the player there, and it's just it's just a massive ball, like, there'd be too many players required, so basically yeah. not possible. Okay, we we are, we're doing it though, Jim. We're, we're doing a screen again for some reason between the ball. Oh dear. Yeah, here oh, we go. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Running out of time. Always a danger with one minute turns. So we're doing a bad play badly without the time to do it effectively or well. That's <laughs> bound to work, isn't it? Yep. It might work. Especially if there's a especially if there's a three there's a three percent chance of it working, basically. <laughs> At least because some dice will be rolled. Just gonna smash this war dancer, I assume. You, you'd hope so. And then roll all some my, dice. Or my money back if we don't. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Well, that's a problem. Oh. I'm guessing <laughs> Houston, the we have a problem. Again. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was freeing our target for the pass. So what the hell are we doing now? We could go the other way and pass to this one, the load off to this one, and then score. But. Oh. Now there's definite problems. Yeah, I do wonder if we're going for the handoff to that loner. A little pass to that loner. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. It's I mean, not the worst place in the world for a fail to be, as long as it's on the loner. Because yeah. she's defending a little pocket around it first. But yeah. I mean, you'd you'd re-roll re the throw. You don't necessarily have to re-roll the catch, because there's this, not... This dancer can get anywhere in the opposing half, though. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah. And it yeah. can't, that Lorna can't score, so... No, you can score. And the Lorna then walks and hands off to the wrestler. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. sorry, I wasn't... Yeah, I didn't so. see the wrestle, yeah, okay. It is the play, so it's a three plus. It's yeah. two plus, two plus, two second two. one, no cover. Oh, but oh one. makes it. No. So that's just a little two plus handoff, and then she chooses between the stall and the score. And she can't stall because this, this dancer... Yeah, the dancer will... Yeah, it, has, and, uh, it has full corner to corner, doesn't it? No, yeah. she has yeah. <laughs> Being movement 12, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Movement 12 is pretty good. There we go again. There we go, 3 2. I'm running out of toes, Jim, and I know you already have. <laughs> wow. Needed another assist, though, Razzle. Needed an extra assist because it was a strength 4 dancer and there was no one to get the, give the assist. So you, you can't wander yet. My hands are busy. If the score goes much higher, we are in difficulty. <laughs> Was the tree free Wait. to move in and assist? We well. still on 11 here. The uh, Newham's team now reduced to 8 still. Well, in that case, yes, should have tried. Because obviously a knockdown lets you stall. Eight with, of course, these two very strong dancers still, which at the moment Tree hasn't found an answer to. Well, the and answer is being in, staying in out of range and then scoring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And of course, this near Natty. Mm. Now, last time we saw him one turn. I wonder if we'll see the same. Well, it looks like Tree is setting up to stop the one turn a bit. It does. Interesting. Gonna see the grid. Yeah. Let's not call them curtains, please. <laughs> okay. Oh, walls. I mean, if you insist, <laughs> I won't. Thanks. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking about not putting this on YouTube and just doing a solo one. Because <laughs> it's been a bit bit much, hasn't it? A bit feisty in places, maybe. I blame PC. I don't know what you mean, I never started it. <laughs> Delete the VOD. <laughs> Delete the VOD, don't yeah. upload to YouTube. <laughs> never speak of this again. <laughs> and if you're here, Jim may just hunt you down. <laughs> Beat you to an inch of this, your fucking life. <laughs> if this isn't going on YouTube, can we just make it a free-for-all now? Can we just really go for it? Because we were holding back. No, no, we can't. We can't really go for it. Thank no, you. come on, it's still... You know still me, have... I'm lazy, I'm just going to put this one on YouTube. <laughs> we still have 10 to 15 people watching. And... <laughs> I'm too fucking lazy to not just put this on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I know you did, Sata, that's why I, that's why I said it, but uh, I, I'm, it's just too much effort. <laughs> Literally... Dozens of different viewers. <laughs> that is 99 viewers. Woohoo. Well, I mean, we talked about the Blood Bowl when there was some. They just, it, it, they haven't helped us, Jim. They haven't yeah, put on exactly true. the most dynamic ex expression, expression of Blood Bowl you've seen, have they? Not in the no. first half, particularly. No, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> it's just been a bit, they're both a bit scared of each other, so they've either hung back and not done much or have just instantly scored and, and given the ball back because they, they just don't want it. Mm. Which is pretty fair, I guess. Yeah, like, to be fair, I think Tree's done the right thing. I like, can't yeah. really defend the ball from no. from the, the dancers, so just uh, just try to bang And at the moment, and she's going one up. Mm. So, yeah, you know, she's, got, the... She's, she's the one that goes ahead here. So, of course, as long as she keeps banging it in, she's always ahead of the game. She's never facing a losing situation. Yeah, it was the two-turn, the, the two-turn, one-turn, wasn't it, from um, from Tree that really gave her this opportunity to be able to just yeah. keep banging it in. Absolutely, and stay ahead of the curve. And from Neil's yeah. point of view, you know. Oh, here we go again. Oh, he's not on the LOS, um, though. The catcher's not on the LOS. No, the catcher's not. Wow. Opportunity denied. <laughs> he's probably kicking himself. Hilariously, he's probably kicking himself. <laughs> yeah. And I would guess missing. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
now it's not going on YouTube. <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't even catch the comment. I'm just going off Jim's reaction that that was be that was beyond the pale. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It was just mean. <laughs> just mean to noons. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. We can we can deal with mean around here. Yeah. Yeah. And I. Obviously, was only joking. Any offence caused is instantly and unreservedly apologised for, and was unintended. Of course, we yes. The, I mean, he's he's done display. he's done okay in this. In, I mean, he's been out coached by Tree. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. But he's it's not been horrific. Some of the shapes he's pulled have been all right. Yeah, he's used the strength for reasonably effectively, apart from that um, appalling attempt at a defence by pushing forwards. Which was an idea that just didn't work, and perhaps the time pressure or the you know heady excitement of being in Chalice got to him. <laughs> oh dear, Play yeah, playoff nerves maybe. But yeah, it was just his his offense was just a bit boring, wasn't it? And then relied on dice to score, which was maybe yeah. he should have tried to sculpt a drive. But fair enough. You know, Although I mean, to, to be fair, that has. Worked bit of mere moose bush to the feast that has been the second half where they've really you know gone for it we've seen i think that uh, that riot really energized this game yeah <laughs> oh tom no spoilers please we'll we'll do the replay of yours i'm gonna do all the everything at least as a replay every single cup game will be on at least as a replay But I guess it's not going well. <laughs> if you've been watching Netflix on the toilet with a hot date. <laughs> oh dear. Not many players are there for Nooms. Three cars now. No. He certainly had the worst dice, but then I guess, you know, Tree does have the mighty blow and he doesn't. Yeah, yep. the tackle mighty. It should look something like this. Yeah, he he should, might expect yeah. to get a removal or two on his own, even without the the mighty blow blitzers. But yes, I think that's fair. I'm not surprised at, at what's happened to Newham's team. I think yeah, we should expect Tree to be at least one elf down by now. There is a tree in there hitting, and just the volume of hits over time. I know there wasn't you know five a turn, but still yeah. against AD7 or even on a failed dodge, you'd have expected something to go off and stay off. Yeah. By now. Yeah, I, th I think three is high for sure, and and I think none is also low uh, on tree side. So, I think it's a bit. But he's still got the uh, the three that matters, so it's still very much on. Yep, we're going instantly into uh, into full screen. Yeah. Quite deep though. I mean, that's a deep screen. That's. It is. That's there to be just, you know, just pushed back a square each turn and you're in. Yeah, it's, that's nice of strange. There's another one cast. <laughs> now yeah. four cast to none is really oh. starting to... Yeah, no, that is starting to be a little on the heavy side. I, I think the plan here might be that if we can uh, get Neons to score in... in I don't know, because, yeah, no, I'm looking at the clock, I've got it wrong, I was adding the turns up wrong. I was thinking that she could force Neums in and leave herself too, but she can't, can't she? No. So this is all or nothing on stop, really, or else we are looking at overtime. Yeah, 50 Tree, 50. Tree really not as well placed to one turn. You know, she's two turning, she's fine, but one turning a little harder with that team. Yeah. Oh, Dimi, the Wood Elves are winning, yes. <laughs> 3 2 to the Wood Elves. I mean, this is okay, but it's just not enough. She needs to get hit on because you just, if you just leave him time, he'll he'll stall and then he'll hand off to Edge yeah. 5, and then the Edge 5 will leap and dodge and score. 
Yeah, so you, and then, you and have then you're to just pressure. taking the 50-50, aren't you, on the yeah. top? Yeah, exactly. Because you won't stop him. Like you just won't stop him. Like, but you know, it's 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 a bit like uh, you know, uh, keep saying it. Cause I, you know, not just to hype up the fact that I'm playing Rick on Monday at seven PM UTC. Um, but you know, it's like it's like Rick and his his slant team. That you know, if they've got a wizard, they're just going to come and take your ball, aren't they? And you can't really stop them. And and these guys are just going to score. Like you can't really stop them, can you? There's just there's really no counterplay to stopping these. That's these scores. all true except one word. Rick doesn't actually have a team, does he, Jimmy? No, he doesn't. But he he uh, he, uh, he technically he does have a, a wizard and team. will have some slang. Yes. 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 Technically, he's got it. It is a Kislev team. It, technically. Yes. <laughs> sort of. Most of them being loners. Yes. yes. Let's but not he... be Kislevist. To them, my new go-to team, apparently. <laughs> but he does have like two or three good players, and yeah. you just can't stop those two or three good players doing things. And you just cannot stop these three good players doing things. So, yeah. yeah. He's got an even bigger wall of tripe than uh, Tree's got here, though. Yeah. And like Tree, he might find those two or three players that, like Tree's got, just aren't quite enough against you. But it's, it's yeah, it's no giving you right. He'll have a whiz, some other inducement toys, and Rick dice. Uh, yeah. And Rick confidence and belief, which is as, as big a factor as the dice. Yeah. So it's like, you know, so that's why I think. Tree has to has to go for things here because yeah. Although she is getting them down to near peak elf, if she does keep sniping at these corners of the cages and can remove another one, starts to get very tricky for the ups. Yeah, I don't think very. <laughs> I don't if think I'm very tricky to the point where I'm banging this in next turn, which is why he's in the shape he's in. Yeah. I think he plans to hand off backwards to the catcher and go for it next turn. Yeah, he certainly can, can't he? That's the thing. Like, it's so easy for him to have that option, isn't it? It's just amazing having two like movement twelve, yeah. unbelievably mobile players that, that you can just you can have them as the back of the cage, and they're very, very, very threatening handoff options. Indeed, overtime doesn't look decent if you lose the toss, Stradi. If you lose the toss versus this team, you, you just they just score. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. you can't stop them. Like, you just literally can't. It's. If if this team wants to score in one or two turns, you can't stop them because how do you stop these players? Yeah, like absolutely. literally, how do you stop a tw move twelve sidestep, edge five leap? It's, it's insane. Yeah, you have to kill them, Ooh. and you know, Woody's on really. Oh hello, got him. Strictly didn't have it on the show. Got him. Got him. Yeah. There we go. So we've got a three plus pickup. Yep, with sure hands. With sure hands, yep. And then a two plus dodge away, and that could be that. Really could. But he's, he's, yeah, should, yeah. he's got to get out of range of the strength fours, though. Otherwise, they'll just come and take it back. I mean, that is the danger, but yeah. But obviously, yeah. This is this is looking very good for Tree now. It's the three plus. I wonder if it would Still have been better to have moved this guy first. So it could have come out this diagonal. Yeah. And then like I, I mean, over I, here. It, it, it's the bobble box, isn't it? It's keeping it there so there's two elves around where you pick up. I, I didn't hate it. I, I, what I did like was moving the other rookie in. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like moving that one in. But maybe he could have moved this out to give you the diagonal. Like, could have moved it here or something mm -hmm. or in or whatever. Like, but I, mm -hmm. It was just an idea. She could just go here and then, or here and then just cage it, yeah. But I would like to have gone over here and then like get the tree involved a bit. Yeah, right, come on tree, don't do too much here. You don't need to score, you don't need SPP anyway, you just need them to keep having the ball until next turn. Yeah, I mean, could, this one could have been here, couldn't he? You know, it's like could, that. That might have been better mm -hmm. if this one had been there, but it's still pretty good, isn't it? This is pretty good. It is, and pretty with good. this catcher lurking, really only needs to hold it for this one turn. If he's still, if she's still got it at the start of next turn, she can almost certainly got it to this catcher, this, and then they can run away. This is a catcher, so he's got a two D here to clear there. 
and then you can get him out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, hit him, and then the edge five goes and gets it. So it's still pretty simple, actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it is depressing with agility five and strength four how simple sometimes these incredibly tough situations work out to be. Doesn't mean you find that under the pressure, doesn't mean that you manage to roll those seemingly easy dice, but it's um, it's one of the teams it's always on for. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, like it's it is pretty decent odds, but obviously yeah the dice can always fail, can't they? And like and it is it is simple in terms of the dice rolls required. Like, you know, if it's something like five twos, that's really easy, isn't it? And but obviously it's not it's not it's not certain, but it's still very easy. What what's five twos in a row? Around 73%. I mean, that's a lot, isn't it? And five twos in a row is like, without any rerolls, is, you know, you're usually going to be easier than that. Sadly, I am. If we, I'm hoping this doesn't make overtime because I do have to disappear in about five minutes. Yeah, I'm, my I'm nephew's up. I, I'm pretty order, confident. I, I know it's possible, Jim, but I just don't see Nooms doing it. I'm kind of hoping we have a quick turn and see some action. Mm hmm. No, I think he's going to get this. I think he should get it. It's really, it's really simple, isn't it? You just punish it him is. out of the way, cancel the assist, hit with strength four tackle, but he yep. will sidestep somewhere, and and then you know it might be, it might be caught, but wherever it fetch, goes, the it? Yeah. five just goes in and picks it up in multiple tackle zones and leaps away and scores. Like it seems pretty easy. I don't know why he's taking so long. How many other elves you put in to mitigate the catching or to possibly risk catching it yourself before you do the hit? Wow, Seems this is mental. This is absolutely what? mental. What? Why? Where are we going anyway with that piece? Is that the one that's cancelling the assist? Is it going all the way around the oh back? Oh god, that's terrible. It is. Jesus fucking Christ. Wow. What is happening? Okay, well that happened. But... Jesus fucking Christ. But, I mean, mm. I mean, you still have to punch this dancer anyway. Yeah. You know? no, so no, why not do it first? Okay, we're not. Oh, we're no, doing this no, way. You don't have yeah, to. going all the way around instead of just. Hey, <laughs> going all the way around instead of just punching him. Like literally, oh. could have just punched him. There we go. <laughs> and roll. Cast himself. And that should be that. Hey. <laughs> that was amazing. That was pretty impressive. Wow. I did not oh, like yeah. that play. <laughs> no. No, I I did not like that. All right, so... But who can say if it was good or bad? Now... <laughs> yeah, I'm... You might three dice this guy, yeah. That might be an idea. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm stuck. I said that also. Oh, dear me. You might at some point show me how to cut things out and put them on the It's information that would be very handy for me to have. There we go. That's, uh, can just run away now, can't you, from this strength four? Ooh. Yeah, could go sideline. You can go sideline, then you're out of range of this stripper. Yeah, sit on the sideline. Hmm. Well, utilising the tree. I, I liked utilising the tree before. Like, I'd have liked to have, on the recovery, I'd have liked to have got like this far. But yeah. I, I understand that wasn't easy, and, and it obviously yeah. worked out, and it worked, it did a good shape in the end, anyway. So. I would have just wanted to have done this. Like, I might have wanted to have done it and then still gone with that anyway. But I would have wanted to have done the, like you know something like this last turn anyway. So. Well, I mean, the dance is now the only scoring threat. Yeah, so, so it's also the main ball threat. Nick, exactly. Both. So it's so, fine. We're in a yeah, good place. It's, it's almost certainly fine. That, it's a lovely example, Jim, of the definitely the better team has lost. Yes. Uh, to the better coaching. So that's nice yep. to see. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Though also the better team lost to the better dice. <laughs> yes. But yes, yeah, but it also was, better ideas. But yes, yes, the better dice too. It was definitely better coaching from Tree. Yeah. I think that's undisputable. And the uphill, the uphill worked, right? So, you know. 
It's like, it was both. It was better dice and better play. But yeah, Neem's definitely had the better team. Yeah, but it's not like an uphill against a dwarf where you need two red dice pals. <laughs> a joke called Daedal Quest. It's a red dice where all you need is two pushes. Because you've yes. got Stripple. Yep. Which is, is not terrible odds to find. No. If you can put a reroll into it. I've, still, it never, right I've so, still never done it in my life. But yeah, I hear, I hear some people can do that. <laughs> yeah, it does happen quite much more than people think. Um, and treat, you know, treat through. It was also the right play to try and do it, and to do it yep. that early in the drive, where you had a couple of other shots if it didn't work. Yep. To try and find other options. So well done, misspelled tree. Yep. It, I think it is a certain win now, isn't it? There's no one in yep. range of scoring. Yeah, that's that's not going to happen now. No. Technically, no could chin. No, there's no chins anywhere. So yep, that is it. GG. End the flipping turn, man. <laughs> And the flipping turn. I guess yeah, you could try, try to make leave a mark. Yeah, you try and kill a dancer, don't you? <laughs> Probably. Um, some people don't. Some people think, you know, I'm done. That's now I have no agency left in the competition. I shouldn't do anything to the other team. I, I yeah. Up to you, do what you want. I um, I do take that. Uh, I do take that view. I think. It's six and two threes, isn't it? Because obviously, if if you if you try to kill somebody, then you're being nasty to that person. But if you don't try to kill somebody, then you're being nasty to everybody else. So it's like, yep. it's completely mm. neutral, isn't it? So who cares? Yeah, as long as the other person had the the had that team to to take through, I think once I can't affect them. So, yeah. so you'd rather someone that beats you wins the whole thing, whereas <laughs> I'd rather someone that beats me loses next round. Well, yeah. I mean, I can't qualify anyway, so it's relevant. It's, 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 I'm talking about a competition that I don't. That I, don't I think either way is absolutely fine. I do have to go and zip straight off. So thank you for having me, Jim. I should disappear right now. Thank Thanks. you bye very bye. much, PC. Cheers. See you later, mate. And thank yeah, you. me too, Jim. I'm going to have to dash as well. All right. Thank you very much, Flicky, as well. Absolutely glorious. You're welcome. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, congratulations, Miss Beltree. Uh, commiserations, Nooms. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.